بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم The next particle we're discussing is the particle an So we've been through this before we're now here in the harfinjar and the particle an we're going to be there in particle an So arab is an Now the meaning of an is al mujawaza Now to be honest with you I didn't understand this properly for a long time Okay What does mujawaza mean Literally mujawaza means ta'addi tariq that you pass a path, you traverse a path. Are you following? So when you say here, for example, if you say here, for example, uh, this is a path. This is a path, for example, here. So tajawaza, you went past it, you crossed it. You crossed the path, either in breadth or in width, you crossed the path. This is tajawaza tariq. You went past the path. That's what tajawuz means. Okay? Now, obviously, when you, when you, uh, when you traverse something, you pass something, you, this, so when you, when, you, when you reach here, when you reach here, you say tajawaza at tariq. Yes, so you, you move, so, so one thing is you pass the path. So this automatically means you start it from, you have a starting point. You distance yourself from the starting point. That's called sudur. You start, you went away from the starting point. You distance yourself from the starting point and then you went towards the end. So that's where the word mujawaza means. So to understand this, if you get this in your mind, then a lot of the things coming up later on will make sense. Okay. So now, what does it mean here? So because this is for tajawuz, it's for mujawaza. It's for mujawaza. So we say here, when you have the particle an, one of the meanings of the particle an is sudurul fa'li min al majrur. What does it mean? That the, the verb started off from the majrur. For example here, wa ma yantiqu anil hawa. Now you can say, وَمَا يَنْتِقُوا بِالْهَوَىٰ مَا يَنْتِقُوا But say, أَنْ الْهَوَىٰ What does this mean? So let's say for example here, let's just draw, obviously Hawa, hawa means desire. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he does not speak from his own desires, of his own desires. Now obviously we translate as find out. How do you understand this? This is Hawa. This is Hawa. This is Hawa, correct? Now, then you have, so what happens? The Nutq. Starts off from Hawa and goes past Hawa and comes out here. This is here. So it starts from it and is based on this. Now if you say Min, Min means Ibtida'ul Ghaya. So if you say, Ma yantiqu min al-hawa, it means the Nut did not start from here. And An, it starts from here. It went past the Hawa. It, it tajawaza. It went past the Hawa. So meaning, when the Prophet speaks, it's not, it doesn't come out from his, it's not from his desires. It's not his own whims and fancies. Obviously, the meaning is the same. We get a deeper understanding of this word an. When he speaks, the nataqa does not start from within the hawa. It's what? In huwayla wahyun yuha. The Prophet sallallahu speaks actually from wahi. So the nutq does not start from, it's not based from, it's not stemmed from hawa. You understand? That makes sense? Yes? Acha. What is it? So how we, how do, that's why in some tafsir say here, I la yes duru. I've kind of restructured it, but it's why it's mentioned tafsir. Like again, the mufassir mentioned it, like they just ishara towards these things. Because they understand these things naturally, intrinsically, they don't have to go through all like spell everything out. But because for us we need to spell it out so we understand because we don't have this natural uh, connection with the Arabic language. So this means here, I la yes duru nutkir rasuli bil Quran. When the Prophet is speaking of the Quran, it's not stemming, it's not coming out from, it's not a source. Must have been source. It's not source from his hawa. So ma yantiqu anil hawa. So now, so sometimes it has sudu. So when you say mujawaza, it means it starts from this. Acha. Or you can say ma yantiqu rasul. Another way of another tafsir is another way to explain it is ma yantiqu rasulu nutqan sadin al hawa. The Prophet does not do a speech which starts from his hawa. So both are the same meaning. There's different ways the mufassir have expressed this meaning of nataqa an. Not all of them, but some of them who have gone really deep into the, explain the meaning of an slightly or just like, ishara towards that meaning. Okay? Acha. Sometimes the meaning is, the meaning of this mujawaza is ibti'adul fa'ili anil majrooli bisababil fa'li. Yes? So it can mean the fa'i went away from the majrood because of the fa'il. Because remember, tajaw, mujawaza means. You're going away from the, you, you're traversing something and you're going away from the source, the starting point. So for example, you say here, يَظِلُّ an sabili. So this is the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. And then what does he do? He's dhalla, you can say dhalla minhu. But this is, this is sabilillah for example. 
sabilillah so sabilillah so yadillu anhu would mean he's not going yadalla anhu meaning he's here he goes away from so he's on the path and he leaves the path he goes away from the path yes so it means yabtaidu an sabilillah so now here, dalla and sabil he means I dalla. He went away. He went away. So the an means ibtada. He went away from where the path of Allah because of the fan, because of dalla, because of him being misled. He went away from the path. So another meaning of the an is the fa'il went away from the majroor, the huwa went away from the majroor because of his dalal. Another way of explaining that mujawaz a meaning. Yes, following. Or it can have the meaning of ibtiadul maf'ul bihi, the maf'ul bihi. So ibtiadul fa'il or ibtiadul maf'ul. The maf'ul bihi goes away from the majroor because of the fa'il. For example, yarudukum an dinikum. What's going to happen here now? An lil mujawaza. Ay? Yub'idukum. So obviously it's now maf'ul bihi is going away. So, so who's the fa'il? The whom? They are doing, we can say ibtiadul fa'il, we can say tab'idu. So tab'idu. Tab'idul maf'ul. So you can say Tab'idul fa'ili al maf'ula bihi. So the fa'il, yarudukum. They turn you back. And who's, who's the maf'ul bihi? This. So they turn you back from your religion because of rad, because of them. So you go away from your religion. They take you away from religion because of their rad. So again, ibti'ad. Why? Because mujawad. Mujawad means. Tra 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 traversing the path, going beyond something, crossing the path. So now we hear Yarudukum and Dinikum. So you're on your religion, but then you they make you they take you away from your religion. Why? Because of their radda yarudu, they're turning you away. So you go away from your religion because of them doing their rad to you. This is not the meaning of how we can express the particle an. You following? So what we're saying here, if you go back to it here, so we're saying here. So mujawaza means that the fail came from the majroon. Yes? Because it started from the majroor and went past the majroor. So it is sudur from the majroor. Number two, the fa'il went away from the majroor because of the fa'il. Or the fa'il took the maf'ul bihi away from the fa'il from the fail because of the fa'il. Sorry. The, the fa'il took away the maf'ul bihi from the fa'il because of the... Sorry, I'm thinking wrong. The fa'il took away the maf'ul bihi from the majroor. The fa'il took away the maf'ul bihi from the majroor because of the fa'il. Fahim. So, well, okay, we've got a few examples that fits perfectly. But sometimes, إِذَا لَمْ يَسْلُخْ هَذَا الْمَعْنَى When you don't get, when you don't get, um, that's a mistake, yeah. When we don't, this meaning doesn't fit. It, like, you're not getting ابتعاد الفائل or the مفعول or صدور or anything. You will see that it's يُقَدَّرُ مَحْظُوفًا They say مَحْظُوف is مُقَدَّر. For example here, أَفَ اللَّهُ أَنْكَ Okay. So, one possibility is, well, I'm just going to, I don't like this example because we're going to have to use Allah and the Prophet Allah said, but Let's take one. So one is Sudur al Fa'al and al Majroor. So the Afwa never happened from the Prophet. So the, you wouldn't say Sudur al Fa'al and al Majroor. The Afwa never started from the Prophet. So the first meaning is gone. The second meaning is what? Afallahu an is that the Fa'il, so the, the Fa'il went away from the Majroor because of the Fa'il. So Allah went away from the Prophet because of Afwa. That doesn't go to fit as well. Then you have Afallahu anka. There's no Maf'ul bihi here. So none of those meanings are fitting. The, the, the the, the far away meaning, the ibtiad meaning, the mujawaza meaning. So it's a muqaddar mahzuf. That's why he says here, Ab adallahu athar al khata'i anka bi sabab al afwi. Some of us have mentioned something like this. Because ab ada anka is ibtiad, mujawaza. So this, this is translated ab ada. Allahu is the fa'il. Yes. Bi sabab al afwi is the afa. The anka is anka anyways. The, the, well, the ka is going to be here. And the maf'ul bihi is mahzuf. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has removed, because afa means to wipe out. We translate as forgiven, but literally afa means to, one is to wipe out, lengthen or wipe out. We say erase here. So Allah has removed, erase meaning wipe away. So ab ada, ay? Um, azala, remove. Ab ada, azala, wipe out. So Allah has wiped out, erased the, the remnants or the remains of any ishtihadi mistake you may have made. Because of him forgiving you. So Allah has distanced from you any remnants of any ishtihadi mistake because of his afwa, his wiping out, his erasing. You understand? So, 
you have three possibilities. If those three possibilities don't work, you take the fourth possibility, which is ma muqaddar mahzuf. So you have either the fa'il goes, either the verb starts from the majroor, or the fa'il goes away from the majroor, or the fa'il takes the maf'ul bi away from the majroor because of the fa'il. And if those don't work, they're mahzuf inside. And the key means, remember here, is that, muj, that, uh, that an is for mujawaza. Mujawaza means going beyond something, coming from something and going beyond this. None of you understood this. I have a few examples now. So takunu an ma'a majroori ha. The an and the majroor can become what? Maf'ul bihi ghaysari. So yanhawna anil munkar. Ay, yanhawna al munkar. They stop the private evil. But why is it an? Ibti'ad. Yeah, to remove. Ay, so they stop. Ay, yanhawna an nas. This is the second meaning. The third meaning actually. Why? The fa'il is moving the maf'ul bihi away from munkar because of nahi. That's what it means. We don't translate all this debt, but that's what it really means in this way. Following? Yes? Understood? So far so good? Acha. Again, because this is a bit complicated to me, and I thought a few more examples would be useful, so I put a few more examples here. We're saying here the word bakhila. Bakhila. It becomes muta'addi. This is yata'addaga. The shadda is missing. So the word bakhila is yata'addabi. It becomes muta'addi. How is it muta'addi? Bilba. فَيَكُونُ الْمَجْرُورُ مَا أَمْسَكَهُ الْفَائِلِ So when the word بَخِيلَ comes in, it comes, uh, I don't think it comes to bind the Qur'an. But when it does come in other Qur'an, it would mean that بَخَلْ بُخَلْ means to be stingy, don't give something. So the thing that you don't give is with بَخَلْ. Remember بَخَلْ, what's, what's the meaning of بَخَلْ? Who can remember what's the meaning of بَخَلْ? إِلْسَاق Correct, it's for إِلْسَاق. بَخَلْ is for إِلْسَاق. So which means, when you say, لا تبخل بالسلام The ba is coming on salam because the salam is the thing that you're keeping. You're doing, you're, you're doing ilsaq of the salam. So, لا تبخل بالسلام So the majroor with ba now is ما أمسكه الفائل The thing that the fa'il has kept in ilsaq to himself. However, if it comes, if it comes with Allah, what's the meaning of Allah? Has Allah come before? Isti'la. On top. When something on top of you, it's a burden. It weighs you down. So now, if you say bakhila, if you say bakhila, ala, what does that mean? فَيَكُونُ الْمَجْرُورُ غَالِبًا Usually, the majroor is the thing upon which the burden of the bukhla ends up on. Yes? For example, say, bakhila ala nafsihi. Because now ala is now. So now, he then bukhl, and the, the harm of that bukhla went to himself. So he's not keeping his soul. That's not the thing that he's keeping, not doing spending. In B is the thing that you're keeping. Bis salam. Don't be stingy in salam. Yes? And we say, Bakhila ala nafsi, meaning he was stingy, he didn't spend, and the results of not spending and the harm of that now, ala nafsi, he went to him. And sometimes, yakunu an. So in this situation, will happen, yakunu al majrooru ghalibun mabta'ada anhu nafu al insaq. Remember, an is to distance. So if you have the word an, the majroor will usually be, I'm saying ghalim because obviously it's rule of thumb, you have the exception from here. We will say the majroor will be ibta'ada, is the thing which the benefit has gone far away from. Yes? So when you have the particle an, the majroor will be that thing from which the benefit of imsaq has gone away from. Yes? Not naf'ul imsaq, it's a naf'ul, it's a mistake here. Naf'ul infaq. So now if we change, yes? We should change that. Naf'ul infaq, not naf'ul imsaq. So let's take this example. So, la tabkhal bi salam is very easy. Do not do bukhni salam, meaning you keep the salam. Acha. So now we have here, فَمَنْ يَبْخَلُ فَمِنْكُمْ مَنْ يَبْخَلُ Amongst you, some of people who do bukhl, they are stingy. You see? فَمَنْ يَبْخَلُ أي بِالْوَاجِبِ The thing you're keeping. أي you do bukhl by not spending the wajib, the thing you need to spend, zakat. Sadaqat al-fitr, necessary human aid, which is wajib in certain situations. So, وَمَنْ يَبْخَلْ بِهَذَا You mean you keep those. فَإِنَّمَا يَبْخَلُ أَنْ نَفْسِ What does this mean here now? He is now, يَبْخَلُ أَنْ نَفْسِ He is now, أَنْ نَفْسِ So, so basically, remember, أَنْ is mujawaza, going far away. This is his nafs. And what's happening to his nafs? What's going away from him? You have the fa fa'idatul الْإِنْفَاقِ Not... Fa'idatul, that's a mistake. The fa'idatul infaq. So the benefit of spending 
فَيَبْ خَلُوا أَنْ نَفْسِهِ What's he doing now? He is now doing بُخُل but he's taking away the benefit of infaq from himself. He's distancing ibti'ad. He's now distancing the benefit of spending from his soul. So he's depriving his soul of the benefits of spending. Because ibti'ad mujawata. So the benefits of the of the infaq spending has now gone away from him. Are you following? You get it? Does that make sense? Everybody following? Alhamdulillah. Sometimes the particle an kamafur fi ghaisari. For example, huwa yaqbalu tawbata an ibadihi. Now, if you say an ibadihi, yeah. Now, why, why have an not mean Allah accepts tawbah from his servants? You accept a mean ibadihi. Remember, an has ibtiad. So then the, the meaning of this would be ab adillahu dhunub. Yes, Allah distances an ibtiad, distancing. So Allah is distancing the sins or the effects of sins. An ibadi from his servants because of qabulu tawbah. So now the an has a meaning of uh, is like removing, it's taken away from them. So this is the ab, this is the ab, and from him you have inside of him you have you have the sins. So now Allah is yaqbalu tawbah an ibadi. So the tawbah is coming and the tawbah is removing the athar, the sin from him. An ibtiad. And from him is within him. So within him you have the effects of sin, the, the remnants of sins and the, the dhulm, etc. And that's now doing ibti'ar from him. It's moving away from him. That's what have the meaning of an. Are you following? Yes? Acha. Next example is an zaman. When you have zaman, time. So amma qalirin la yusbihunna nadimin. So an is harfun jar. Ma is za'ida li ta'kid. And an qalilin. And it's ma is za'ida ghayr ka'afwa. This is the amal. So an qalilin basically. لا يصبحن دادمين. So this means here soon or after a short while. Yes, they will become regretful very soon. After a very short while, they will become regretful. Now I didn't understand. I cannot even until recently. I cannot forget what this meant. But one of the other staff members they they, they suggested this is the meaning. What it, what it is? What it is here? If you say بعده. So let's say for example we have adab. We have the adab. So you have nadama. Okay. And then you have Qalilin. Uh, yes? Okay. Then what you have here? Yeah, so let's say for example, let's say. Qalilin. You have the Nadama. And you have Kathirin. Okay? Now, if you see here, بعد قليلين. So most will say after a short while. So that's what it means after a short while. But why use the word an? Because if you say بعد قليلين, it means here this قليل, so ندامة, close to the so time is going this way. So a long time away, a short time away. So if you say بعد قليلين, so it means here after قليل. So you have قليل, and then for, then you have let's say for example, uh, this is a five. This I just put five units for example. Because بعد قليلين. But if you say an قليلين. And then ma is za'id of ta'kid. So this qalil, so from that qalil, not after the qalil, from the qalil. So it's not, if we say ba' the qalil, means qalil is here and ba' is after. So after a short while. But by saying an, an means suduf, means means the nadama will, it will happen from the qalil. So the an means is from the, is from the qalil. So that will show a closer distance. Are you following? Because ba' the mean after it, and an would mean this, that kind of this taqalib of the meaning. Wallahu alam. This is one possibility of this meaning. So, an, and then the ma gives ta'kid. It was very, very soon. So, amma qalilin, ay, an muddatin, an zamanin qalilin. So, an qalilin, amma is ta'kid, and then the an gives a closer meaning than the word ba'ad. So, an qalilin, very, very soon. La yusbihunna nadimin. They will all become very regretful for their actions against the nabi. Correct? You can maf'ul ghaysari as well. Okay. So we're not going to leave our Lord, our gods, our idols because of your statement, because of you saying something. So now here, they will, we will we will not distance ourselves. And, and this this qawlik is a sabab. You can you can you can if you want you can add in, in figure out how the an will work. Perform hajj and abik on behalf of your father. Yes. 
Okay. Correct. Uh, let's just stop here, inshallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So we discussed yesterday that we said that sometimes um, the word an in the books they say an bimakna makan. Ay, hujja an abik ay makana abik. And this is similar to the meaning of awal. Now, in some places, in some books, what do they say? They say this is badal. They say, O yusamma badalan. Ay, awalan in exchange or in place of. And they call it badal in the books. Some say badal. But it's not like badal meaning mubdal meaning badal. It's not the tabi. When you say that word, like if you say the word an bimakna badal or an bimakna makan, then it's not in the tabi meaning of mubdal meaning badal, but it's meaning in place of, in exchange for. Right? One more mustard before we finish off an is that we say the word an can mean a meaning of an ism. إِذَا سُبِقَتْ بِمِن نَحْوُ جِئْتُ مِنْ أَنْ يَمِينِ Okay. What happens is, you know, a, a harfun jar comes on, the word after it has to be ism. Are you following? So when you have min أَنْ يَمِينِهِ you have this word jar, so this has to be an ism. So we say the word an has a meaning of janib. So min أَنْ يَمِينِهِ so I came to him from his right side, from the direction of the right. So jitu min an yaminihi. So when you have a harfunjar, preceded by another harfunjar, we say that harfunjar is in the meaning of an, a noun. That's what we have here. Okay? That's the end of an. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. 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 Subhanallah wa bihamdi.